Hello, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Because we're listening for what? Love. <laughs> we're listening for love, guys. I hope you're doing super fantabulous. Um, this reading is for August, okay? Right now, currently, it is Leo season, but it's about to be y'all season, all right? But it's Leo season, all right? So, with that being said, if you want to send your girl a birthday gift, you sure can. You can send it to my Amazon uh, wish list, or you can just click on my link tree and then um, send me a little cash app, or better yet, you could just send me a message. I'd appreciate that the most. So, with that being said, let's talk about how these readings are going to go. They are going to go with a general oracle. We're going to go into a general read. We're going to go into singles. We're going to go into couples, and then we're going to see what's up with the signs, okay? So, quick shout out to some of my favorite Virgos in the world, okay? Um, happy birthday, Erica B. That's my baby, okay? I get to have lunch with her tomorrow. And happy birthday to one of my most sentimental Virgos, to Miss Mira Mira. I, I'm not going to say your real name because we don't be using those names up here. So, Happy birthday, guys. I appreciate you so much for being in my life. Thank you so much. And I wish you nothing but the best this coming year. May all your hopes, dreams, and wishes come true. All right? So, if you're new to my channel, where the hell have you been? I mean, this is the place to be. You like tarot. You like oracle. You like to know what the hell is going to happen. You like to have fun. It's the place to be. And if you like it even more, come hang out with me on Instagram. I go live on Tuesdays, sometimes Wednesdays, sometimes Fridays, doesn't matter. But usually Tuesdays for happy hour, okay? Because we need a little midweek mid break, you know? We got to get it going, all right? 5.36 p.m. Central Standard Time. Click on the link and let's be friends, okay? We go live. We do readings. We do giveaway readings. We just have a good time. We talk about the week. And you meet a great community, all right? So... Let's get into it. August 4th, new moon in Leo, 12 degrees, okay? And Venus enters into your sign of Virgo. So you got this new moon in Leo vibe. You're like feeling yourself. Virgo's feeling good. And Venus moves into your sign. Baby, you look a hell of a good. But your dreams are going to be lit, okay? Pay attention to your dreams. They're going to be very prophetic, okay? Very strong dreams. On the 5th, Mercury retrograde, you are ruled by Mercury, my love bug. So pay attention to communication. Make sure you're sending the messages to the right person, okay? Whatever you're sending the wrong picture to the wrong person, don't screenshot and send it to the person that you were screenshotting. Ah! It's happened to me, okay? You just say, I just want you to realize what you said to me, okay? And bye. And then you hope that they don't ever, like, bring it back up again. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, Mercury retrograde, four degrees in the sign of Virgo, okay, in your sign. Now, on the 14th, Mercury is going to backtrack into Leo because it said, oh, you got the details earlier, but now we're about to have fun with them. All right. So be prepared for a lot of things to unravel, to be shown, and be clarified. Now, on the 19th, it's a very important, important day because we have the full moon in Aquarius, 27 degrees and you're focused on empowering yourself you are putting them boundaries into place baby i love it i like it i want some more of it okay and this is a very important day because jupiter is going to be square okay saturn jupiter is going to be 17 degrees a gemini Saturn's going to be 17 degrees Pisces. And a square is a challenge, okay? We're challenging Jupiter's dreams, joy, abundance, expansion. Saturn's a little take it easy. Get all the information. Make sure you know what you're doing. We got to be regulated, okay? We got regulators mount up, okay? But your key is go for it. Go the distance. Your dreams are going to make it. You've got all you need to push through to get to the other side, baby. All right? Now... With that, on the 22nd, it's your birthday season. Yes, it's Virgo season, all right? Congratulations, it's your time. This year flew by, guys. Now, on the 28th, Mercury goes a direct, okay? 21 degrees, Leo. However, remember when we're going direct, we still got the shadow face. We're still kind of, ooh, kind of ee, 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 tiptoeing around. And on the 29th, Venus enters into Libra. Libra's going to look hella good. They already do, but whatever, all right? So they're going to be looking hella good. So congratulations, Libra. Have a nice life, all right? We focus on Virgos now. Get out of here, all right? But if you're a Leo cross, uh, Libra cross watcher, 
enjoy the time, all right? Now, what's going to be important for you this month? We have that of, where's your, where'd your rune go? Oh, here it is. We have Fehu come in for you, okay? Your finances are about to go to the next damn dirty level this month. I want you to draw this image on a green candle. I want you to cover it in money herbs, okay? Get you some cinnamon, all right? Get you some sesame seeds. Get you some coconut oil. Make sure that you're putting abundance rituals on there. Write your name on that candle, carve it, and write the amount of money you want to make, all right? Because it's coming, baby. It's coming in, all right? Money is coming. And just to clarify that money is coming... We got the second house lit up for you. We could even do an apple spell. Should we do a video on an apple spell? That would be fun. Anyways, your second house is important. The way you feel about money, the way you think about money, the way you earn money. This is coming through flourishing. Make sure you're thinking positive. All right? Now, your animal energy is that of the guinea pig. Oh, it's so cute. Do your part to illuminate the universe. I'm going to say... There's something about you really feeling nurtured this month. There's something about you feeling connected and for you to feel loved. So do what makes you feel loved. If it's pampering yourself, pamper yourself. If it's being with your friends and family, do that. Do what makes you feel loved. Now, when it comes to love this month, we got the king of scrolls coming in. Ew, someone got the eye on you. This is also a possible promotion, recognition, moving to the next level. But we got the papers in order, okay? We got the documents ready to go. Someone is trying to come into your life that's ready to get them papers together, okay? Get that agreement together. So this is a month of prosperity, recognition, moving to the next level, okay? So this is the part of the read, my friend, where we do a yes or no question. What would you like to know this month? Think of two questions, okay? Number one, number two. And the overall energy is the three of swords. Womp, womp, womp. <laughs> is this something that's like really heavy for you? You're having to make some really intense decisions, okay? So for question number one, it's going to be a no. Ten of swords. Hell no. We're not carrying their baggage and we're not carrying their words with us. Because that is their energy, not ours. For question number two, hell yeah. Two of pentacles. We're walking in balance. We know our worth and we're going with the groove, okay? We got it going on. All right. Let's see here what we got for our singles and ready to mingle. Singles. Ready to mingle. What we got? What we got? What we got for pork chop, baby? What we got? What we got? I'm too hyper. I think it's the Red Bull. Moving. Oh, change of residency. Moving in with your partner. Moving on. Moving out. Moving up, baby. We're moving. Mercury retrograde. Pay attention to electronic issues, communication issue, issues, issues, <laughs> and your intuition. We're moving on. And overall, there could be some breakup shakeups and what motherfucking makeups, okay? Because I'm just telling you, like, we know how Mercury is. Mercury likes to play with our hearts, our thoughts, and our mind, okay? It happens. Moving. What's moving for our beautiful Virgo? Good Lord. These cards want to talk, okay? Virgo, cut it down. Okay, we're cutting out, we're separating, we're stopping the pattern, and we're not playing with the silent treatment. Damn, Virgo! Woo! Mercury retrograde, soul connection, partnerships, soul contract, life partners. So this is what this is telling me right here. During your Mercury retrograde, you may have a lot of past lovers and past, I wanted to say crumb suckers. I don't even know where that word came from. People who parasitically were attached to you and you're realizing that is not your soulmate. You're realizing this was a lesson. So I feel like during the retrograde, you're setting some heavy boundaries and I like it. And your intuition said, get grounded, okay? Get grounded, growth and endurance. We're moving on and we're experiencing a breakup with whoever we felt we were addicted to. I, I don't know, friend. What are you addicted to? I'm addicted to Red Bull. No, I am. Anyways, in the past, we're letting go of the judgment and the, we're just like, we're letting it go. We're setting ourselves free, Virgo. I love that you set yourself free. Because you're tired of crying. 
Cause I can't fight this feeling anymore. <laughs> You're tired of crying at night, damn it to hell. You gotta make a decision with the Two of Swords. What are we releasing? Justice. The two face play game. That's what I call this card. Two faces on this court. This is what you get, but on the bottom, I'm. <laughs> you come with the frog. <laughs> Anyways, this energy of you living on the edge, like the freaking edge that you're living on, is just like a little bit too much. A little bit of the energy of like, Hick! okay, that will lead us to meet the emperor or become the damn dirty emperor me gusta mami we're manifesting we're creating and we're trusting the universe with the queen of cups okay we are the queen of cups that means we don't chase we attract i don't chase i attract and damn it to hell you looking good you got venus in your sign too boo you're looking good that's all i can say baby you are a hottie with a body okay and if you don't believe it, keep telling yourself till you do. Lucky days for you so far, the 4th, the 7th, the 11th. Okay? The 2nd. Oh, 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 oh. What does judgment have for my... Damn, Virgo. What is going on, Virgo? You're all shook up, okay? You're all shook up this month. It's okay. You know you got to make this decision. You've been meaning to make this decision for a long ass time. <laughs> Higher fins. Two of cups. King of wands. Okay. Higher love. Y'all remember that song, Higher Love? <laughs> no. Put the words in the comments. I need a higher love. You know you need to let something go if you're trying to get to the Hierophant, Two of Cups, and that King of Wands, okay? We got to let something go. She is setting herself free from a situation that she no longer needs, wants, desires, or even cares about anymore. You might care, but damn it to hell, it's keeping you in the, in the un, unwanting to be in that place anymore, okay? I can't even talk. Although, you know you've got to move forward. It doesn't mean that it's not hard. And those those birds, like she's releasing that. That she's releasing that. And she's really hurt about it. Six of Wands, but you got a nice ass. <laughs> Six of Wands. To the Empress. Give me one more, one more with a photo on the stick. To the Queen of Swords. You know what this tells me, my friend? You can look, but you can't touch. Look, you can, you know I got it. You know I'm the empress. You know I'm all that. But if you can't, somebody gonna match my freak. If you can't match my freak, if you can't match me and my energy, you're a thing of the past. If you're not gonna meet me right here where I'm at and treat me the way I wanna be treated and, and do what needs to be done to be with this Virgo, then you can go. Okay? Two of Swords. I'm cutting you off. Nine of Pentacles. Temperance. To the Chariot. So, the Nine of Pentacles is, is very important because in this card, like, she was freely giving herself to him. We gotta cover up her cha-chas. She was freely giving herself to him. And he had to, he had to one-up her and cut some shit off and, like, whatever. So, you thought you were gonna cut a Virgo off. I don't think Vir uh, Virgo... They don't know that you got, your cutoff game is impeccable, okay? Virgo's cutoff game cut you off and never look back. Dead to me. I'm going to go live my life. A little take it easy with temperance. And I'm going to go win. Because all Virgo's going to do is win. And we got 7-11 right here. Something could have happened in July on the 11th that's like super important for you. Justice, what's up, Justice? What's up? I pulled it just like this. Queen of Wands, the Two of Wands. You got to make a major decision if you want your divine pair. King and the Queen of Wands. You know, these are the two cycles of the deck. <laughs> Maybe you have like a fiery moon or your Venus is in Leo or a Sagittarius or something. I don't know. But this is like the psycho pair. This is like, I can't live with you and I can't live without you. I got to have you. Okay? So we need to have a conversation. 
And the conversation could even be with ourselves. If we are wasting our time with an energy that is not getting us to the level that we want to be at, then what the fuck are we doing? That simple. What are you doing, friend? Because the emperor is over here strategically waiting, okay? Like, um, how, how much longer do I have to wait, okay? How much longer do I have to wait? Someone's being rejected this month with the Eight of Cups. Look at her face. Ugh. I'm disgusted. <laughs> like, no, I don't want it. Okay? There's the door. There's the door, bitch. Because <laughs> I saw what you did behind my back. Okay? So I do feel like there's a situation. And I'm, I have a few stories. There's somebody who is married. And you're going to find out they're married. And you're going to be like, uh, no, bye, goodbye, okay? And then there's someone else who's been promising marriage, promising they love you, and they're not leveling up, okay? So overall, the queen is saying, we starting fresh, we starting new. I don't care who you got. I'm on a journey. <laughs> I'm on my path, okay? I'm good. Because we don't even talk anymore. And I'm tired of carrying that burden and, and pain. You, you're finally releasing what needs to be released. We have three nines in your read. Definitely at the end of a cycle. Oh, no, two nines in the read. So definitely move. Okay, there's a possible move coming in for you. There's also something about a trip or traveling that could have happened with the, with the chariot. So this king and this queen of wands, they ride next to each other. But And, and, and I almost feel like... There's like this idea of marriage that you want, you desire. But if you keep playing with this person over here that's doing stuff behind your back. It ain't gonna happen. <laughs> you know, let's just be honest here, okay? We've got to ground. We have got to really focus on what we truly want. Because this is you. You're the empress. You are the empress, and here is the emperor. The king and the queen of wands. I mean, I don't know how much I got to tell you that you got a soulmate coming in, okay? There is definitely a soulmate here. But we got to release something. It's time to let it go. Somebody going to match my freak? I don't know. Because Virgo, you're the freakiest person of the deck. So I ain't playing with me, Virgo. Virgo will put hand sanitizer and everything and clean everything, but put everything in their mouth. I'm just saying, Virgo, y'all some freaks, okay? But I love you. I love you so much. But it's time to cut something off, all right? So for those of you that are not in contact with the person who you're in love with, okay, or they're in love with you and they haven't told you, what would that person tell you? They will never compare to you. So this person is with somebody else. Well, alrighty then. Okay. I've been manifesting you. Please don't manifest too hard. <laughs> we don't want that. I regret what I did to you. So this is definitely somebody who has probably left you for someone else. They're, they thought the grass was greener on the si other side. Because, you know, that's what we always think. And overall energy, I've been working on myself. And I'm not the same as I was before. And what this tells me is that this individual is going to come back and they're going to let you know that you are their everything, that they love you, they miss you, they made the wrong choice, and they did. And this is where you have to think about what can this person truly offer you now once they've already made that choice, okay? Sounds all sweet and pretty because you're saying everything I want to hear you say, but, but, I don't know if I want the rest of it, okay? I didn't know about that. Isn't that cool? <sighs> Y'all like my nose ring? <laughs> I did it today. Me and my daughter. It's mommy daughter day. Okay, every time I look down, I can see it. It's like, woo. Let's get a description of this emperor that wants to come in and get that empress okay give me a description they're sexy they're fit they're athletic and damn it to hell they want a piece of you okay i got very masculine energy coming in Ooh, i like it petite features small features they kind of get nervous around you too and they're medium build they're not too tall they're not too short i get strong taurus strong libra Taurus and Libra comes through for you. 
the important dates I get here, there's that 11th, the 28th could also be important. And overall, they could have a big forehead. Not because they're ugly, but because they're smart. <laughs> then Aries energy, okay? So this is someone who's like, I really feel like this person is really athletic and built, whether they're masculine or feminine energy. They, they look pretty damn good, and I think you're going to like it. Working out is very important for them. They do get very nervous around you, okay? I would too, Virgo. I get nervous around Virgos because I've been paying attention to all the damn dirty details. All right, the whip wants you to know, don't want no short, short man. <laughs> the shrimp corn. Okay. Oh, the 28th is going to be important. I see that number a lot. I already wrote it. So, Del Sushi, coming in quick. It could be a quick lunch date that comes in, or let's go grab a, some sushi and sake. My kind of date. Like, let's go do that. The gentleman wants you to know the bomber jacket. So we have a lot of Scorpio energy coming in here too. And I also feel like with this, they make you feel very safe. They're a protective. I want to say traditional man or traditional woman. The mice, they're nervous about their car. They're nervous about driving. They could Uber. They have something about their car. And they have a tattoo that you like. Ew, 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 okay? Climbing the corporate ladder where they're very tall, okay? This energy is really good for you. I like it, Virgo. I like a fun, fit, athletic individual with a nice car or a nice vehicle. I'm loving it. All right, let's get you some oracle messages. Oh, let's get their initials. Let's shake it up. Shake it up. Okay, I'm probably making my double chin vibrate. Sorry. Okay, I got Y for Yaya. I don't know. E. If it's an S, I'm going to freak out. A. Yeah. <laughs> so we got a Y name, Yanita. I don't know. I don't know a Y name for a guy. Um, Yvonne, maybe. E for Eric. A for Ari. It's me, Virgo double E so maybe they have two E's in their name I get you you and a P for P Pablo what no I'm just playing for Pablo maybe Penelope Pete I got nothing so those letters come through okay let's give you your Oracle Virgo Virgo let's see what does the Oracle have for you you got to get up get out and do something okay action fairness there's also something about court, maybe, or legal decisions. Temple path. Signing papers for a house, possibly. Am I going to fall in love this month? Is that a possibility? And the answer is yes. <laughs> I should, like, totally freeze the camera here. And that should be your, like, thumbnail. Okay? Get that YouTube. Anyways, let's see. What does action have for you? Take some action on them liars out there. Okay, liar, liar, pants on fire. Okay, contract with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. I told you it was me. I'm just playing. The temple path, the earth sign. Stay grounded in the, that nature. So I do get fire and earth coming in. But now is just not the right time. Like, I want you to take your time and I want you to pay attention. Okay, pay attention to what's going on, my love. Okay. So let's see here. Let's get into our couples. What's going on with our couples? These are people who know they're together or like see each other and know each other, not just in your head. Okay, let's see here. What do we got here? What do we got here? Let's see. Let's see. Separation. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's crazy. Confessions. Come on, go tell Usher to go sit down, okay? And give it time, giving it time. Everything works out in divine timing. And open up your heart, Virgo. Whew. So let's see what's está pasando. Okay, what is this divorce or this breakup about? Whatever, what are we talking about here? Heartbroken, deeply sad, feeling lost, a breakup. So two different decks this is explaining a breakup. There's something that's coming in. Maybe someone has something important to tell you. They are in a new phase of their life. They've moved on. They're moving in a different direction. Remember, this does not have to be your reading. It could be your enemy's read. <laughs> okay, I'm just saying. Take the parts that fit. Give it time. Because there's a ring coming. So some of y'all could have experienced a breakup at some point of from now until like the end of the month. But it, it causes someone to realize something 
and decide to take the relationship in another direction and a more committed relationship because their mask has been removed. Some of, some of y'all could um, have somebody who makes you feel like very gaslit, very much not understood. And their mask is being removed. And so really think before you say yes. Okay? Think before you say yes to the dress. You know, I used to, I used to watch that show. All right, your person is the Page of Pentacles. Let's start fresh. Let's start new. All right? And they're thinking of the High Priestess. They feel like they know everything also. They're very intuitive. They see you as their Ace of Wands, their fresh new start. How are they acting? The Moon. There's some secrets. That's why we got confessions, right? The star comes between y'all, so y'all heal from this, which leads to a lot of work in the relationship with the Eight of Pentacles. So, let's, let's write down the Eighth and the Eighteenth, okay? Overall energy, Seven of Swords falling right on top of that Confessions. <sighs> Somebody's getting caught, okay? Somebody's, you got some explaining to do. Someone got some explaining to do, all right? So let's get into this and let's see what's going on here because someone's got something to say and you don't want to take this ring because it's a, it's a, what is it like a consolation prize for living with a liar? And y'all know what I mean, okay? So with that being said, let's see what this page of pentacles got for us. Page of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. They don't even know what they want. They're like, I like you. I like our time. It's this great. On <laughs> the tower. So there's that breakup. There's that sudden indecision. I thought I wanted this. I thought I wanted to do this. Okay, okay, I do. This person got me feeling all kinds of discombobulated. Okay, all right, High Priestess. <sighs> What's going on here? Because we don't even talk anymore. There is a lot of lies in this situation. Someone is lying to themselves or lying to you. Or you're lying to yourself. Okay? This card with the high priestess. This makes me feel like we're not talking. We're not even trying to work on it. We're just going to have a quick hookup and move on. And then I say move on and the six of swords shows up. And here's the Queen of Pentacles. She holding her own schnitty. She's like, if you don't just massage these toes and do your thing. It's like almost like you're above the person that you're with. You're better than this person. And I don't mean that rude. Like, you're not even engaged in this relationship, Virgo. And they can feel it. They know that you know. That's what High Priest is. They know that you know about what they did. But they see you as the Ace of Wands. They're like, let's do this. You're hot. You're passionate. You're new. It's great. You're a whole yes for me. If you could forgive my past. When I betrayed you. Ah, I am not liking this one. I am not liking this. Whoever story this is, I ain't liking them. Okay. The moon. Forgive me, please. I'm coming back. I hurt you. I broke your heart. I'm coming back. Let's not talk about it. Let's not talk about it with the four swords. Put that to rest, girl or guy. Put that to rest. And y'all heal from it because the star comes out. Be very careful with the five of swords. <laughs> the eight of swords. Ah! I quit! <laughs> Okay, this is not healthy. This is somebody who did something real shady, like fucking shady, greedy, not nice. This is someone who gaslights you, makes you feel like you're crazy. I'm getting mad. And they're doing what, exactly what you think they're doing. And this is you. We're gonna, we're gonna work on this. This is where they look at the screen. Look at the screen. Is this your man? Yeah, that's my man. I'm going to stick to him. Virgo, I'm done with you. Eight of Pentacles with a star. We're going to work on it. We're going to work on it. Okay? Because I love him or her. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Jeez Louise. Whew. Knave of Wands because the sex is good and it feels great. With the hermit, that's you. And you don't want to see him with no one else. And I love him or her. Okay. Well, you should really say, 
There's the door, bitch. That's really what should be said. Okay. But this is free will, right? So this is the vibe that I'm getting. For those of y'all, and this is not for people who are very extremely happy. This is not for people who's never been, in, you know, never not going through this. This is for someone who has experienced a relationship where there was some form of betrayal. The three of swords, the tower, the seven of swords, the eight of swords, the five of swords. Seven of swords twice. There's definitely a lot of stuff being done behind your back. Unless you're the one doing it. And in that case, I don't know what to tell you. But this situation is you need to know that you are the queen of pentacles. And it's falling right under this high priestess. It's clarifying this. And you you see how she's got her hand there, like on her heart? Well, she got her hand kind of on her heart. It's on her schnitty. But it's by heartbroken. The words heartbroken are right next to it. If you are a Virgo who has recently had their heart broken by someone, especially like very strong Aquarius vibes going on here, because I see a lot of Aquarius and fire sign, and this person is gaslighting you, making you feel like, you're crazy, I would never do that. They did it. And they're just wrapping up that little bullshit in a different wrapper, getting dressed up and cute so that you don't see it. It's like, look over here, but not over here. Let's get you some guidance. I didn't like that read. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of that read. Let's get you some guidance. What does the Lenormand suggest this month for their love? <sighs> Balance is needed. We got to get secure and safe. This is going to be a very burdensome time, very tough time, overbearing time. Possibly with an Aquarius or someone who says that they're your friend. But you feel blocked and you feel like things aren't moving in the right direction. Sex is a very strong weapon in this relationship. There's going to be a lot of quick arguments, a lot of like mini petty arguments. And they're going to try to fix it by saying, let's get married. Let's move in together. Let's make it happen. All right. So to each its own. All right. To each its own. Let's get guidance. Let's look at the Oracle. The Oracle usually always makes like nicer things than what I have to say. Because... I'm coming from a situation where I'm seeing you as a super amazing human being who deserves to be happy and you're kind of selling yourself short if you're dealing with that energy. So there needs to be some really strong boundaries, right? But I'm not going to tell you, like, I would be excited too if someone's like, hey, you want to get married? And I'm like, sure, you're going to help pay my bills. Let's do this damn thing. I kind of like you anyways. Yeah, sex is great. Let's do it. There's more to a relationship than that. So proceed with caution. What is their, what is their message? <laughs> get ready to join the dating world. I'm just playing. The world. There's definitely an ending. Trust your intuition with the sixth chakra. Man holding the heart. Look, love is going to be extremely important, but if they don't love you more than you love them, it may not be the right decision, and we got to put some things into action. Let's clarify. What does the world want them to know? The 29th could be important for you. You need to pay attention to your health. You need to pay attention to how this person is making you feel. Is your blood pressure rising? Is this going on? Which is the reason I say blood pressure is because Fehu, which we had at the beginning, is about success, abundance, good wealth. The color is brown and the plant is nettle. Nettle is for protection, strength, cleansing, and boundaries. But also, nettle is good for high blood pressure. This person stresses you the F out. Six chakra says we need some space and some distance, okay? Man holding the heart needs to move. There's going to be something about moving. And we need to put some action to that intimacy because we are not even being intimate anymore. This could be just a wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, got to go. Bye. And you're left feeling like all I do is fulfill one need when I could be so much more. All right. This is the part of the reading where we look at... Aries to Pisces, Aries to Pisces, okay, bored, I'm bored, I need some excitement in my life, and somebody is not talking to us, they're being a little short worded, okay, a very impulsive energy, this Mercury retrograde is going to really, like, whoever doesn't make it through this Mercury retrograde with you, like, they can just stay where the hell they are. Stay where you're at, okay? Because you ain't, you ain't here with this. You ain't here with all that, baby. <sighs> we don't even talk anymore. 
Good Lord, I just see reverse cards. No, ma'am. We need some good energies. We are good energy here. High vibe only. People, people tell me that. It's high vibe only. I'm like, oh yeah, because life proceeds only on high vibes. Okay, shit happens. Life is real, okay? Things happen. We are not puppy dogs and rainbows, and I will never sugarcoat something that is not sugarcoated, okay? I'm going to throw some spray on it, make it sweet, but you know, we can't sugarcoat everything. Okay, the fifth could be important. Okay, let's go through these dates. The second, the fourth, the seventh, the eighth, the eleventh, eighteenth. We're going to throw 21 in because it's my birthday. Ew. 28 and 29, okay? All right, Virgo, you are all in love, okay? You are ready to give your heart to an Aries who's wanting to change their ways, okay? They're the devil reverse. They're trying to come out of this. <laughs> they could have some legal issues. They could have some legal drama, some baby mama drama. There's some drama, okay? But you love them. You love that drama. You like to fix people. The 14th could be important. Here you are. You are ready, willing, and ready to communicate. I like it. And freaking Taurus is stubborn as F and is not contributing. The solution is call a magician. No, I'm just playing. The solution is to work your magic. And to remember, you are the one in control. Lucky day the 13th. Here you are as the Queen of Pentacles. You are fully in control of all your emotions. You're making money and your dreams are on fire, okay? And Gemini wants the tower to happen. Stop talking to him. Stop working with it. Stop trying to make it right. Just let that go. Both y'all ruled by Mercury. The six could be important. <clears throat> Your spirit guide's been trying to talk to you, Virgo. And Cancer feels defeated. The solution is wipe the slate clean and let's start over. Okay? Can, can we start over? You are praying for a new beginning. You want to be free. You don't, you're, you're done. You're done. I've seen what I needed to see. I'm good. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, you're done with cancer and you're moving on. Put a cough into that, okay? Here you are. You're feeling fresh, feeling good, like I knew that you would. You're the Genesis card. You are rewriting your story. And Leo is being a little stubborn, okay? Nine of Wands, they got their little boundaries. The solution is stop fighting. There's also a trip between you and Leo, and there's also some good loving body rocking, knocking boots all night long. Lucky day, the eighth. Okay, you got some sneakers, friend. Shh, don't tell nobody. And the other Virgo is like, hmm, are we gonna get past this? Solution, no, we're stuck. We're stuck. Seventh could be important. All right, here's Virgo, Nine of Pentacles reversed. Okay, don't want to be alone anymore. And Libra is tired of the broken promises. But we're going to go for it. <laughs> I think y'all are moving in together. Libra and Virgo, like, let's freaking move in together. Like, we're total shit show. <laughs> we're going to do it together, okay? Yeah, whoa. We'll take it easy. Lucky day was the seventh. Here you are, four of pentacles reversed. All right, we are bored. We want new things. We want new life. We don't feel stable. And Scorpio says, that's my man. That's my girl. We're going to win. We're going to shine. But there's no love. Someone's coming to see you. <clears throat> the second could be important. Here you are, doing your prayers, doing your love spells, working at it. And Sagittarius can't get their footing, okay? They're just not grounded. There's too many red flags. I think you're a little bit more into the Sag than the Sag is into you. You're missing them. You miss them, okay? Or you want to make memories with them. And I have at the bottom key ring. That is one night stands. You don't romanticize this person. Lucky day, the sixth. Okay. We don't even talk. Eight of Wands reversed. This is like the quickie card. Like, we might hook up and we ain't talking anymore. The Sagittarius, Capricorn ain't never going to change, okay? Just cut them off. Solution, keep it stepping. Put them lemon pepper steppers on and pop, 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 pop. They not like us kind of out of here, okay? 17th could be important. Here you are. You're not even trying to communicate no more. You're being a little impulsive, my friend. And Aquarius got a chip on their shoulder. 
And it's my way or the highway. Aquarius is being a little difficult. We don't like that. Okay? The second can be important. All right. All right. Here you are. You are commanding, beautiful, gorgeous, and strong queen of wands. And Pisces, tired of fighting. They don't even want to fight. The solution, Virgo, go home. Own it. Own it and go home. The seventh could be important. Overall, baby, you got nothing but victory. You got everything you need. You are everything you need. And you are the best thing that ever happened to you and will ever happen to you. Because you're amazing. All right, Virgo. Remember, hit that like. Hit that share. Let's hang out. Come on over to Instagram on Tuesdays, 536 p.m. Central Standard Time. Get a reading with me. Let's do it. Let's have fun. And happy birthday. Enjoy your month.